Hey everyone, Photo Joseph here. DxO has released two new updates, Viewpoint 4 and Photolab 6. And as usual, I was asked to do the press demos for their virtual press tour. In this video, using the same demo I gave the media, I'm gonna show you the new and enhanced features of Viewpoint 4, which is, many Mac users will be happy to hear, now fully Apple Silicon native. There's a separate video for Photolab 6, so you can jump right to that from here or click the link at the end of this video to watch it then. In case you've never seen it before, Viewpoint gives you both corrective and creative control over the perspective and distortion in your photographs and can operate as a standalone app, a palette in DxO Photolab, or as a plugin for Photoshop and Lightroom Classic. This is not a complete demo of Viewpoint, just a tour of what's new in Viewpoint 4. Let's get into it. The Reshape tool is an exciting feature that allows localized geometric correction for corrective or creative effects. The first thing this photo needs is a straightened horizon. That was easy, but now the lighthouse definitely looks crooked. So I'll use the Reshape tool. There's a 4 point, 8 point, 16, and 32 point grid, or I can choose to make my own grid with as many rows and columns as I want. With the grid selected, you can zoom into any part of the image, grab any point on that grid, and simply move it to distort the photo. You can double click to reset it. To fix the lighthouse, I'm gonna select the right side of the lighthouse and then start to drag the points up and down and left and right. I can drag them with the mouse or for a bit more accuracy, I can simply move them with the arrow keys on the keyboard up and down, left and right. I'll select regions of this lighthouse over and over again, carefully nudging them up and down with the arrow keys. Maybe this side needs to go up a bit. If you move your mouse off of the image, the grid disappears, making it easier to see what's going on. So I'll select that one and then right arrow nudge it out. You can see the bulge there and then put it back where it goes. Now, when I apply the settings and then toggle the reshape on and off, you can see the dramatic difference. While it may be a little thing, a highly requested feature was to be able to mirror and rotate images in viewpoint directly, which has now been added. Custom guides allow you to create an unlimited number of vertical and horizontal guides on your photos in any color. This can be incredibly helpful when something looks straight, but you really want to be certain. I'll work with this photo of the band, which first of all needs a little volumetric deformation to correct for the natural distortion of the lens. Then I'll crop it, let's say square, like for an album cover. The problem though is that the band members aren't aligned. So to correct that, I'll go ahead and activate the new alignment guides, where I can choose to make horizontal or vertical guides, and I can make them any color that I want. I'll create a horizontal guide and drop it right around their eye line. Then I'll adjust the horizon tool, keeping an eye on that guideline to try to get the eyes aligned. I can adjust the guideline, and I can even add additional lines wherever I might need. Once I've got the alignment just right, I can turn the guides off to get them out of the way. I'll readjust the crop, and there's my final image. The crop tool also gains the ability to rotate, another simple but very useful feature addition. Crop with rotation can be used either correctively or creatively. Here, I'll use it creatively. I've assigned a one-to-one -one crop, and then I'm gonna rotate this image about 45 degrees just to put a new twist on this view. And there we go. When hunting through your hard drive to find your photos, the new tree view makes drilling down to the folder you want that much easier and you can always jump to your recent images view to go back to your recent photos. There are a few other minor updates as well. If you'd like to learn more, there's an affiliate link down below to the DxO website where you can read more about the upgrade and download a free trial. Also, if you haven't seen it already, be sure to check out the video on DxO Photolab 6 as well. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.